Hello and welcome to Zimbabwe. I am in Victoria Falls in Zimbabwe and um, today's video I'm going to show you Hello, how are you? <laughs> today's video I'm going to show you Victoria Falls but we're also going to talk about the difference between we're going to do Murchison Falls versus Victoria Falls. Murchison Falls is in Uganda and I have some footage from when I visited Murchison Falls and I haven't shown you yet so I thought today's video I'll talk about both of these beautiful African wonders of the world and uh, yeah talk about the differences between them and yeah just generally show you guys. Um, this place is called Shoestrings that I'm in. Shoestrings is uh, one of the hostels in uh, uh, Victoria Falls. So yeah, I've stayed here for the last couple of nights yep. and I've made a couple of friends here, Felicia and Sophia, and they're going to come with me to the Victoria Falls. I can't wait to see it. I've been in Zambia on the Zambia side and then from Zambia you can't really see the proper view of the Victoria Falls. So finally uh, going to see Victoria Falls from the, uh, from the Zimbabwe side. After this trip, I'm going to drive down to Bulawayo and then into South Africa, potentially stopping in Botswana, I haven't decided yet. And then, yeah, down Joburg, heading down to Cape Town on my motorbike. But yeah, anyway, this is Shoestrings, it's a nice place. I'll show you my, uh, my tent setup and then we'll get on the motorbike. They have a camping area over here. These are the, some of the dorms that people stay in. Hello, how are you? This is my tent over here. This is Sophia we're going to be going on the trip with. And this is my tent. I'm drying some of my clothes on the tree. All right, that's us setting off to Murchison Falls yeah. with Felicia. Hello. <laughs> Sophia. Yay. I think it costs around this one. This one. I think it costs like $30 to go to Murchison Falls. We might need our passports, we might not, not sure. But yeah, we're gonna go three on the bike. Do one of you guys wanna wear this? I've only got one. Well, I can have it. If, if you want. Okay. I'll just turn around. Okay. Okay, you guys wanna hold this? There we go. Let's go. Then I'm in the middle. Since okay. you have the helm, you're in the back. <laughs> you have space? We're good to go. We're good to go. Okay, let's go. Let's go. No, no, no. Bye. Just do it when we get See ya. To the <laughs> See you later. Do you know where we're going? I think so. <laughs> Let's go! I don't know whether this is legal or not. No, me neither. We'll see. <laughs> How do we get to Victoria Falls? Is it down here? Yeah? yeah. yeah. Straight? Okay, thank, thank you. you very much. Border post? <laughs> this looks like it. Could be, yeah. Okay, I think I'll park in there. Okay, shall we get off? Yeah, you guys want to hop off? Yes. Um, oh. Oh, okay. no, oh, yeah, I'll have to put it on that thing. Yeah. Perfect. <laughs> All right, so this is the entrance to Victoria Falls. I think it's like, what, $30? We'll see, we'll see. Please pay here. Do we go here? Oh, oh. Please pay here. You guys want to go? Oh. Hello. Yeah. How are you? Good. Um, I can pay for one person. You are paying for one person. Yes. Like for Sweden. Yes. Thirty? Yeah. Twenty. Did you say twenty? Twenty or thirty? Thirty. Thirty. Okay. International adults. Thirty dollars. Oh my God! It's hot. Yeah. Thank you. See you later. 
Oh, we need the tickets. Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah. Before I show you guys Victoria Falls, I'm going to show you Murkison Falls in Uganda. Oh. And then we'll compare when we see it when we get in. All right. Okay, guys, so we're going to go and do a tour of Murkison Falls. Yes, with guide My guide Emmanuel is, falls, is yeah. taking us down the top of the falls. So let's get into the video. Hello. Hello. How are you? Hi, how are you? Oh, I'm very good. <laughs> So at the top of the Murchison Falls, where the waterfall is flowing, the, the gorge is about 7-8 meters wide. Mm. The formation of that gorge is uh, through a uh, tectonic movement, which occur on the earth plate, it crushes the rock and forms that deep hole. Ah. Yeah. By the year 1952, that's when officially uh, this area was considered as a national. See. 1952, uh, the year when um, this area was created. There's something which happened uh, at the top of the fall here, was a very unique uh, occurrence. So that event was a, a flood. And that flood was in the year um, 1962. In 1962, mm. in Uganda, it was a year of Ugandan independence. And the country was blessed with heavy rainfall, ah. and the heavy rainfall had flooded the river Nile. Mm. So, huge volume of water is flowing, coming from Lake Victoria, reaching at the top of the Maxon Fall here, where the gorge is eight meters wider. The space wasn't enough to let that high volume of water to flow down. So, due to strong water pressure, um, the river ended up bursting its bank at the northern side. Ah. So, part of the river water was flowing sideways off the gorge down to the bottom and it formed the second waterfall, okay. which is known as Uhuru. Okay. So Uhuru uh, is a Swahili word for independence. Uh, so this is uh, unbelievable. Here we are. we are at the top of the Maxon Falls and uh, at this point here, yeah. we can view the beautiful sceneries of the landscape. Yes. And uh, the deep uh, Valley. Yes. So there are some white stuff flowing on top of the water. Uh, those are white stuff. And this is manufactured from the river. Must have seen it change a lot. <laughs> yes. It's got wider? Uh, that's the Uhuru Fall. Oh, okay. The left one. Yes. Then down here is the Maxon Fall. I see, I see. It used to just be one. Yeah? The flood? Yes. Yeah. Just used to be one before the flood. Now you get two, two for the price of one. Mm -hmm. Amazing. Is there an even better view from this point? Yeah. Yeah? You, yeah. Wow. Oh. oh, okay. In a period where there's uh, rain, rain time. Yes. When there's high volume of water. Yes. Mm -hmm. What month is the best time to come? Uh, according to me. Uh huh. Of uh, July, July to August. Okay. So that's the period when there's high volume of water. Okay, best time to come July, uh, August. July or August if you want to come to Murchison Falls. The, 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 the spectacular waterfall. Yeah. That's the period when the, the gorge is filled up with a lot of water. Mm -hmm. and this is uh, the historical trail of uh, Sir Samuel Baker and Lil Florence Baker. The explorer okay. who came to uh, rename the water course to be Murchison Falls. Okay. All right. Yes. Uh, as you can see, uh, the pressure of the water flowing is good. It's about 45 to 47 meters wide and uh, 8 meters wide. Yes, 8 meters. Wow, it's such a small amount of space. Yeah. And the volume of water flowing through the boat is uh, 3,000 cubic liters. Oh, second. wow. Mm, so it's a high volume of water. Very fast, very... The type of the rock at the gorge 
is uh, granite rock. Granite. One of the hardest rock mm. that cannot easily be uh, eroded. Eroded. Yeah, that's why this waterfall has been here for a million years. Yes. And it's still uh, existing. Yes. Waterfall is trying its best to break down the rock. It, but still, uh, Maybe this thing in the middle. This piece. Maybe that goes. Because all of the water is pushing both that way and this way. Yeah. And the more it goes under the... Ah, yes. Yeah. It erodes the foundations of that rock. Yeah. Ah. And uh, the plate of tonicine, which I talked about, yeah. it uh, here. It crushed the rock and from that deep one. You mean, you mean this bit right in the middle? So you work for the the you work for the government to do this job or? Uh, I what? work for the government. Yeah, it's called uh, Uganda Wildlife Authority. Okay. Uh, so Uganda Wildlife Authority is a uh, you're like an official guide for government agents. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And uh, they are responsible for uh, ten national parks in Uganda. Ah. And basically, they deal with uh, conservation yes they conserve the uh, flora mm -hmm. and uh, fauna species yes yeah that's the main core volume of uh, the organization mm -hmm. yeah. it's good that they're protecting the gorillas and the chimpanzees the, the lion the leopard yeah 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 the rhinos yes mm -hmm. there's so much to see in the parks uh, here conservation is very very important. Yeah. Without conservation, uh, many species would be extinct. Would be extinct. Yes. As I talk now, there are so many species which are endangered. Yes. I can mention few. Uh, we have lion, uh -huh. leopards, rhinos, yes, uh, cheetahs, even uh, gorillas. They're These all... are all endangered species. Yes. And uh, without conservation, uh, local communities would have finished them up next year. Yes. But I thank the conservation team yes. for their effort to put this uh, conservation uh, organization like yes. Uganda Wildlife Authority, yes. Kenya Wildlife Services, yes, yes, yes. and ETC, the yeah. whole world, those yeah, who yeah. are dealing with conservation, they are really doing great job for the world. For sure. Without them, uh, we wouldn't have these beautiful creatures these species that yeah. will exist in the park yeah. because of the uh, massive growth of uh, population. Yes. Mm. Wow. So the locals and also, need to be sensitized about it. Yes, for mm. sure, for sure. But then they also need, yeah, they need to have ways to earn money from the conservation efforts. Yeah, that's what we do. Like in Uganda, the revenue generated from the conservation area. Yeah. Uh, 20% of the revenue is fed to the locals who are neighboring the conservation Okay, okay, to energy. try to yeah. give them some money coming yeah. back. Still, most of them, they believe that uh, it's not enough, they don't benefit. Yes. That's why we have cases of uh, poaching. Yes. Uh, more guys think we come to the park. Yeah, 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 yeah. We are trying to zero them. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Wow. And here's the falls. So this one is Murchison Falls, and the one over there, Uhuru Falls. Right here we are in Uhuru Falls and Murchison Falls. Great. Wow. So right here, where we are standing, we are in between uh, Uhuru Falls and Murchison Falls. Mm. At this point here, we can view uh, the both falls. Yeah. But uh, where we are, uh, it's a nice view. Yes, and whoever beautiful. wish to come to Maxon Fall National Park, please, I advise you to get your time and have a walk at the top of the Maxon Fall. You yes. will really enjoy uh, the beautiful uh, waterfall of the world and decide that uh, the waterfall is the world's most powerful waterfall. Yes. So now we're going to go to the top of the falls, which is uh, a view that you can get to, to watch the water as it falls down into the into the what did we call it the cauldron the the oh the devil's cauldron so you don't want to get trapped in there 
actually in one of my other videos we went on a boat uh, you can actually see that video here but we went on a boat but you can't get too close to Devil's Cauldron because the water is too powerful so we went as close as we possibly could but in this view we're going to be able to see the Devil's Cauldron from the top Wow, amazing view. Incredible views up here. I'm also sweating buckets. <laughs> it's so hot. Is that the end of the tour? No, we're still going ahead. We're still For anyone that's watched my Crater Lake video, I'd like to note that I'm not panting as heavily in this video climbing. Actually, we're going downhill, so. <laughs> so I shouldn't really be panting, but it's so hot today. End of the rainbow. Amazing. Is the rainbow always there? No? Depends on the sunlight. Depends on the sunlight. We're so lucky. That is the most incredible rainbow I've ever seen. Yeah. This spot here is the devil's spot. This is the devil's cauldron. The shape of a rock, yeah. which is possessed the shape of uh, a cork in English dictionary. Yeah. yeah. So it's referred to the devil's cork. So it acts like a vision. Like a big pot and every all the water is flowing in. Yeah. I've run out of words to use to describe how awesome this is. It's unbelievable. Uh, this is the last pot. Okay, uh, we'll go down we'll here. Side, and, uh, we'll get the pot, uh, Great. Amazing. Let's go. I feel like we're walking through the rainbow right now. Shit. <laughs> so good. Amazing. Let's have a light. Scotland. Scotland. Thank you. So do you guys know any facts about Victoria Falls? I actually know nothing. Yeah, we don't know anything. We googled about the devil's pool yesterday. Oh yeah, yeah. I missed the devil's pool, but yes. Yeah, I just googled how many of it died. Really? <laughs> yeah. How many? Uh, 
I think it was, how many did I say? Like 10? 10 people have died. 10 or 20. Oh, 10 and 20 people stay open. Yeah. Oh shit. It's, over. it's actually not too bad though. That's not bad, no bad. Considering there's but thousands. One one tourist ish minimum per year who fall off the falls as well. Really? Yeah. So I did I did let's the not be deaf tourist. I don't want to be that guy. <laughs> no. Although I did the bungee. Did someone fall off this year? <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to be that statistic. <laughs> I did the bungee jump. You did? Oh, yeah. At the uh, Isabel? And yeah. Zambia. Yeah, no, yeah. yeah, in Zambia. The thing is, it's one of my worst my nightmare, I would say, but this girl has... I have you done it? Yeah. Have you? And I promised her to South do Africa. Like Me too. I'm yeah. going to do that one too. The highest... Yeah, because I... Is the one in Zambia? 110? Oh. Yeah. Where have you done it? In New Zealand. Okay. All right. So guys, this is the walk along to the falls. We can already hear it. We can't feel the water where we are right now, but... I'm quite excited. I'm getting excited. Me too, me too. Like, <laughs> <laughs> wow. There's a lot of water. Well, yeah. Yeah. No, but. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. I lo people have been telling me because it's dry season, oh, yeah, there, yeah. Was, there was not much water falling. <laughs> it's quite a lot of water. Yeah. yeah, it's a waterfall, so you'd expect so it. You can see the falls from the Zambia side, but the view isn't as good. No. So I didn't even bother because it's twenty dollars to enter from the Zambia side, and I thought I'm crossing over to Zimbabwe anyway. So, who's the statue of? <laughs> what Livingstone? No. Yeah. It's quite funny they have statues to like British explorers that came here. I was here. just going to say like it's probably some white dude. Yeah, probably. <laughs> so. I'm not sure if that should be, but probably some white dude. Discovery of the Victoria Falls. Discovery of the Victoria Falls. It was already discovered, obviously. I know. They did the, the same thing. Everyone always laughs in Jinja in Uganda. They've got the 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 sign for the person that found the source of the Nile. Yeah. And you're like everyone knew like <laughs> <laughs> guys. Like, yeah, they wanted to discover Zimbabwe. Like, it was nothing to You know, David Livingstone was from Scotland. I know. Yeah, from Glasgow. There's loads of uh, statues of him in, in Glasgow as well. On the occasion of the centenary of David Livingstone's discovery of Victoria Falls, men and women of all races, in and from all parts of the Federation of Rhodesia and Nyasaland, assembled to solemnly dedicate themselves and their country to carry on the high Christian aims and ideals which inspired David Livingston and his mission here. Oh. Like, I claim this fall, it's like, it's not your fault. It's like, that's what I found! I know! Oh my god, it just sort of miraculously appeared when I landed. They have like a lot of different little falls going down. There's one over there. Guys, we're completely lost. So oh, many. I didn't think it's lost. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think it's lost. lost. We keep thinking we're taking the path to the falls. I don't want to slip. Oh no, that's just but a viewing point. Fun. You want to go and view from there? No. No. It's another way. We should have to Right. Uh, oh, to the main falls, 350 oh. meters. I mean, to be honest, we came from there. So oh, it's hard to see. They should have a sight. <laughs> <side. laughs> I was going to go to Mozambique, where these guys are traveling to after this, but I didn't uh, make it in time. Keep on extending my trip. Exactly. Like I keep thinking I'm going to make it to so many countries, and then, and then I end up staying places for an extra month. <laughs> so it just takes time. It feels like it's raining here because of all the water from the falls. Actually, it's raining every single day in the... Here. Yeah. Well, rainforest of the falls. So. Really? Yeah. Huh. Fun but fact. It, Fun fact. But is it coming from the sky or is it coming from... from I think it's from... Uh, it's just from the falls, right? I think this is huge. Yeah. Huge. Yeah. This is a better view. Still not the perfect view there. <laughs> it's the the falls are down here, yeah. 
Have you been? Oh, you speak English? Yes. <laughs> Where are you guys from? France. France. Ah, bonjour. <laughs> Je m'appelle Philippe. Ah. We're gonna we're gonna go down this way. To the falls, yeah? Yeah. Was it good? Did you enjoy? Yes, oh yes. Yeah, no, very nice. Yes. Good. <laughs> are you going to go to um, Zambia? No. No. No, no we're still on this side. Okay. That's it. Nice. <laughs> and you? And, uh, I just came from Zambia. Ah, you from Vienna. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, very nice. I did the bungee jump. I jumped yeah, you have to, you have off to the bridge. Oh. You pull. Not yet, but we'll do it in South Africa. Jumping. <laughs> Shall we go? Shall we go? Yeah. One question. Do you want to take a picture of Yeah, sure, no problem. It's kind of... Uh, the lighting is a little bit tricky. Let me get I, let me get the falls in the background. That's like, we probably will take some more... Yeah. See what I mean? The lighting's yeah. not that good. No. Thank you very much. Okay. It said that the water is creating another big falls. Oh, oh really? So it will take a million years, but in a million years it will be another. Oh. Another. Oh, you mean here? Maybe it'll come. Maybe it'll come over here. It's like the Devil's Cauldron, not quite as powerful at Marcuson Falls. We're getting closer to the iconic view of Victoria Falls. Instagram worthy. <laughs> this is the behind the scenes. Cataract Island. This is unbelievable actually. Well, I'd say so far, Victoria Falls is probably more impressive than Murkison Falls. Murkison Falls might be more powerful than uh, the crazy Devil's Cauldron was amazing to, to see, but the sheer number of falls at Victoria Falls is just incredible. It just feels like it's constantly raining on us. That must be why it's like rainforest type environment here. We're getting closer. Point number 10. You actually have to walk quite a long distance to see all of the different points of the of the falls because they go on for such a long distance. Right along here. Okay, so the Zambezi is <laughs> just stealing your facts. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, the Zambezi is 1.7 kilometers wide, so the falls are 1.7 kilometers long at the at the point of the Victoria Falls. So We've got another maybe 50 meters until we see the main view of the of the falls. Number 11. This is incredible. Wow. It's amazing. You can just see it all in the distance there. We're all getting soaking here. Yeah. 
<laughs> just running away with my camera. <laughs> the border between Zambia and Zimbabwe runs through. This is number 12, Livingstone Island. Runs through the Zambezi. Okay. So, so this side over yeah. on the, I guess the south of the river is uh, Zimbabwe. Okay. And then the north of the river is Zambia. So the border runs through uh, Victoria Falls. Oh, yeah. But you get the best view from this side. But they got caught in the, in the current? They fell down. They fell down. Elephants fell down there. Yeah, the... like six of them. I, I mean, I think it was six of them. I don't know. But they fell down <laughs> through the, the falls. Ah. If anyone else knows any more about this, come in the comments Very section. Sad. Sad. <laughs> yeah, I know, poor elephants. The crocodiles too? No, it was a joke. We, like, <laughs> really, really scared of them. Yeah, me too. We went this close in, um, in Shopper River. Like, we were almost on the crocodile. Oh, right. What, and were you on a boat? Yeah, a small, okay. a small boat. Okay. And also, we were in a Makuru in Delta. Yeah, but the thing was, when we were in the Makuru, the guy, he was like, it's fine, we respect the animals, the animals respect us. It was right. the best you know. ride I ever had. And then we went in the Shoga River on this, it was a bigger boat. Uh, still a small boat, but not a Mukuru. There were a few more And on then there. they went literally like this close to the animals, like the crocodiles and everything. Buffalo. And I was like, if we respect the animals, the animals respect us. This is not respecting yeah, the animals. Yeah, yeah, we're, we're disrespecting them by going uh, too close. Yeah, because people, people like to take selfies yeah. with animals. Oh, uh, yeah. Like, like you uh, want to be eaten by a crocodile? To be fair, I chased a giraffe the other day into the into the bush. Shouldn't have probably done that. <laughs> but they can't eat you, so I just no, thought... No, but the crocodiles were like laying with their like mouth With the mouth open. open. But apparently that is because they just eat it. Well, they do that, but they also do that to like regulate their heat. Exactly, after eating, uh -huh. I think. I'm not sure. Because they don't have tongues. Said. No, and they don't... Hello. What did they say? They Huh? They don't chew you. Yeah. They just rip you from Do the they? heart. Yeah. Oh, right. Crocodiles are basically the only animal, for what we read, that see humans not as a threat but as meat, like as food. Really? Yeah. Yeah. So when they see you, they don't get scared. They want to eat. Oh. <laughs> kind of, you know, like they see you as food. Shit. That's other animals kill us because they're scared. Because they're scared, yeah. they don't. Yeah, yeah. But crocodiles actually see us as food. All right. So yeah, because it's dry season, guys, all of this should be water. But right now it's just rock. <laughs> just come and look down, it looks good. Should I go over this rope or not? Do you see the rainbow? It's amazing. I feel like this would be a lot better if that was all water. Next time, next time. Yeah. We made it to the bridge, guys. That's where I did the jump off, the, the bungee jump off. Going right down into that gorge. This is the view. This is the view from the Zimbabwe side. You can see the bridge here. You can actually access this bridge from both Zimbabwe, uh, which is on this side. You just go to the immigration and get your bridge pass and then you can enter the bridge. 
and then over there is the Zambia side and this little cafe over in that direction that's a place that you pay for your activities and things from both sides of the bridge so we can actually see the Devil's Pool from the Zimbabwe side. The Devil's Pool is on the Zambia side, but we can see people sitting on the edge. So to walk across, I think it just costs like a hundred, hundred dollars to walk. And then there's another option where they let you do a, a boat trip and then they take you to one of the islands. And that costs like $115. Uh, I guess that little house stand is like the center for the... See how much water it is. It's crazy. Devil's poo. Yeah, I don't know what you're talking about. Do you reckon you could do that? I don't think so. No. About flowing over. Or like one of the rocks or something that's yeah. Then it does. Yeah. <laughs> I can't believe you've skydived and you're this afraid of heights. That's my idea. That I, must have I, been hard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't need much to get that thing. Yeah. Imagine just like one of the <laughs> let me just ask. <laughs> that's all I would think of. So you said it's ten per year? No, ten in total. Like 20 since it opened. 20 since it opened. And it was like under 60 or something. Maybe today's our lucky day. We get to. <laughs> this is... <laughs> I'm only joking. I'm only joking. When? Oh, that was how and somebody died. died. When did that happen? I don't know, he just told us. So the guy died? The guy died, but he saved a person from dying, but he slipped. Yeah, and she slipped, and he saved her, oh, and shit. then he slipped. Oh my god. Now I'm becoming a designated photographer. <laughs> Vlogging in the wild, influencers in the wild, guys. Exactly. <laughs> Looking for the best spots for Instagram. Uh, All right, so that's Victoria Falls and uh, and Murchison Falls. I think Murchison Falls is very beautiful because it's very powerful, but yeah, I can understand why Victoria Falls is one of the seven natural wonders of the world. And I guess I'd agree that Victoria Falls pips Murchison Falls to the, port, the post, but I definitely recommend people go and visit Murchison Falls in Uganda if you get a chance, because that was beautiful too. All right guys, thanks so much for watching. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video.